Hi, this is Steve from gsuitetips.com uh, here in the UK, and you can find us at our website, and you can also follow us on Twitter and Google Plus and the YouTube channel. So this is a part two tip from a previous one, part one, which was about uploading um, files using Google Forms, and uh, you can find that in the links below and on our website. So in the first tip, we showed you how to access that functionality within Google Forms, and I talked about it only being available internally within inside your domain. Um, recently released on the rapid uh, release track was the ability to allow external users to um, upload files as well through Forms, and I'm going to show you that. So very quickly, just to reprise what we did last time, I'm in a uh, in Google Drive in a in a demos folder, I'm going to create myself a new Google form. Here it is. And I'm going to give it a name, external file uploads. And we can see it saving. And I'm going to change this first question to be file upload. I have to um, give permission. It says people must be signed into uh, Google when they file when they when they upload a file in your form continue Now at this point it's the same as previously um, But if I click here on the settings we can see that I can untick restrict to our internal users Okay, and save and what that means is external users will be able to upload here. I can use um, specific file types again if I want to so I might say PDF or uh, images I did last time. Maximum number of files, I'll leave at one. And maximum file size, I'm going to set to one megabyte or 10 megabytes. OK. Uh, scrolling down, you can also see this form can accept up to one gigabyte of files. This is means collectively after all the submissions. So I might change that, and I might say go for 10 gigabytes. Obviously, this is going to be on my own uh, quota. So if I'm on a G Suite basic, um, plan, then I need to be a little bit careful that I don't set that too high. And now if we have a look at what happens when we click onto the preview, and there's an add file, and a bit like before, I can click through, and I think I said images and PDF, so I might select three things here, and I should get the fail, because only one at a time is allowed. So I can try that again. Add more files. Let's go for this PDF and click open. Okay, and now I can upload it and submit it. And as before, if I look in this folder here, now we've got external file uploads, the same name as my file for my form. A folder has been created um, and it's got file responses. And if I click through to there, there's a subfolder. And then there is the um, PDF. And you can see the owner is me, i.e. it's my file owned by me and going on my quota. And just to show you here, if I select the, um, if, I, if I open this uh, preview again and I create and I grab that link, okay, and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna open a new incognito window and paste and go. What we should see when I get there is if I click um, add a file, I'm actually logged in as a different user and I can access um, this because I am signed in for this cancel that here as another user in my refractive organization. So it knows who I am. I'm just going to close this one down. And that really is today's tip. Um, so just to wind us up, uh, you can find us online at gsuitetips.com. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and on Google Plus and on YouTube. And as I said before, there is a part one to this tip, which you can go and find in the links below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.